Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, I feel this particular paragraph have couple of important points I'm going to cover which might appear in your exam. This is around computer vision and UI automation activities. So the question is when to apply each approach. I have prepared a small table which is going to help you to quickly remember few important points. Before that, let us go to go through this paragraph and I'm going to highlight important points for you. Okay, and explain you. Now look at the first sentence. The choice between UI automation and AI computer vision relies or depends on specific characteristics of the automation task and the nature of target application. So it says if you have to go for UI automation or you have to go for AI computer vision is decided from the nature of the target application okay or what kind of automation task you are going to perform where are you performing the task that will decide whether you should go for UI automation or you should go for AI computer vision now here are a couple of important points UI automation is typically preferred when dealing with applications that have structured and well-defined user interfaces this is a very very important point applications where you have structured and well-defined user interfaces that is where you should go for example most of our web applications are very structured sometimes some of the web applications where you see tables now the tables can have multiple layouts Right, the dynamic tables are getting formed when you some you know click on provide some input and click the tables will be created dynamically. So those are dynamic environments, right? So where you have very stable structured user interface, that is where you should go for UI automation. That means with standard controls, for example, the buttons, your text elements, the number of text elements, all that remains standard. That doesn't dynamically change. So that is where you mostly prefer and go for a UI automation. So when I say UI automation, you must have already used so many of them. For example, the normal click activity, type into, right, get text, all are UI automation activities, which largely depends on the selectors of the UI element. Now computer vision doesn't use selectors. It uses the image. Initially we have studied that, right? So wherever there's a structured and well-defined user interface, that is where you go with UI automation. That means it has, it has standard controls, making it suitable for automating tasks in modern web applications. Now the important point is here, where UI elements have stable selectors. So highlight this point. So we have stable selectors and accessibility properties. So what do you understand from accessibility properties? If you have gone through the selectors, uh, subject right on the topic so accessibility properties like you have your a name title all those things are property of an element of a ui element active accessibility name right the name of the button let's say submit button so a name is submit right uh, so all those things are called accessibility properties height position and all those things so if it has got stable accessibility properties and selectors then you go for UI automation activities pretty simple just opposite is correct with AI computer vision so in contrast AI computer vision excel scenarios that involve dynamic user interfaces that means let's say your web application is absolutely dynamic the kind of input you provide you submit the table that appears is completely dynamic the elements that appears is completely dynamic the button is on the right and next time it might go into the left or top or bottom. So some kind of a dynamic user interface. That is where AI computer vision is quite useful. Remember this. So this is a point dynamic user interfaces. And and what virtual environments. You must have already worked on virtual in environments. Most of us might have already worked. Virtual environments like Citrix, right? VDIs, uh, there are Microsoft remote desktop. RDP machines. So in that, if you are opening an application, let's say I'm on my computer and I'm opening a VDI and I'm trying to automate something inside the VDI. 
the application is actually running inside a virtual desktop. So that time what happens? Direct access to UI element is limited in that environment. So that is, is also one area where we have to go for AI computer vision. Okay, important point. It is also useful when automating tasks that require extracting text or interacting with elements based on images. Okay, this is an important point. Based on images. So what is the understanding based on images means? For example, such as invoice processing or data extraction from scanned documents. Someone has given you a scanned invoice. He has taken a photo and the vendor has shared. So in those kind of a documents, which is just an image, then you also go for computer vision. Okay. In many instances, a strategic combination of UI automation and AI computer vision can offer a comprehensive solution. Now the question is, can I use both of them in my project? Yes. You can also have a combination of, because a web page have multiple uh, stages, right? In one page, it's very stable. The other page, when you submit it, it gives you a dynamic page. So it says a strategic combination of UI automation and AI computer vision can offer a comprehensive solution. So based on the task that you're automating, application that you're automating, you can decide. So you can also use both of them in one project. Okay. All right. Now let's see, I have prepared a small table for you. This table is going to help you. Now, how do you remember UI automation means I will use UI automation when, when my user interface is structured, when I have stable selectors, when I have, I can access the properties of the UI elements or those are known as accessibility properties. Then I should go for UI automation. I should go for computer vision when there is a dynamic user interface. All the elements are moving here and there, number of elements that is present now after, if I refresh, it will change again. So in dynamic environments, computer vision is most preferred. And environment like virtual desktop interfaces, that, that time also where UI element accesses are limited, then you should go for computer vision. Anytime you have to deal with images like invoice documents, scan documents, right? scanned invoice documents so that is all that is where you should go for computer vision got it now let us face few questions that i have prepared so let's see those questions in the in the next video